biomedical laboratory scientists, medical technician, medical technologists, me biomedical scientists, medical laboratory technician, clinical laboratory technician, clinical laboratory scientists. Why exactly do we have all these oh, medical laboratory scientists? Why exactly do we have all these names for our profession? I mean, a nurse is a nurse is a nurse. Licensed vocational nurse, registered nurse, advanced practice nurse, it's still a nurse. The fundamental word is the same. You hear the word nurse, you know what that means. You know the approximate kind of job the person does. A doctor is a doctor is a doctor. They have specialties, they have disciplines, but you know what a doctor is. A medical laboratory scientist, arguably, is much more complex. In some places, we're known as medical laboratory scientists. In some other places, we're known as clinical laboratory scientists. And that's not even moving from one country to the other. Sometimes in the same country, you're going to get those two different denominations. Apart from that, something else that used to confuse me a lot was the difference between a medical technologist and a medical technician. Uh, at first, I thought those were exactly the same thing. I thought those were different words representing the same thing. Until eventually, I learned that medical technologist is more of an older term and that those that were around for a longer period of time may have that title. They may, they may be known as medical technologists. But then later, I learned that there are also some newer people that are finishing that are called medical technologists. But then I learned that medical technologists usually could have a bachelor's while medical technicians could have an associate's. And that one thing that differentiates them is that in some cases you refer to medical technicians as medical laboratory technicians. Now, all of that is complex to try and refer to people who essentially are doing very, very similar jobs. Just that one may be more on the administrative side, one may be more on the practical side of things, but still, it's not as much of a difference, at least I don't think so. And then you add medical laboratory scientists to that mix. So what are we really? Are we technicians? Are we technologists? Are we scientists? Nobody knows, it seems. And that's a bit confusing, for example, to the public. People don't really know who we are. And should they really care? We can't really expect them to care because when someone comes to a medical institution, they're coming there because usually they have some serious problem. Now, if the public, we can't really expect them to care, is it really important to change the name? What's important? What's important in that? Does a name really matter, actually? I believe it does, mostly because of branding. I know, for example, in my case, some members of my family don't really know what I do. And they know I work in a hospital, I work in a lab, they don't necessarily know what it's all about. I think branding could help, actually, with that. And with branding, usually should come a name that's easy to remember, a name that's easy to understand, that gives you an idea of what the person does when they say what they do. I mean, others didn't have as much of an issue. Nurses, doctors, because those are terms that were around for a very long period of time. Nurse, actually nursing is not even that old, but they were able to find a term that's applied everywhere you go in the world. Anywhere where they speak English, you say nurse, people know exactly what you mean. If, for example, you go to the UK and you say medical laboratory science, some people won't know what you mean. If you say biomedicine or biomedical scientists, then they start having an idea of what you're actually talking about. Why are there so many differences sometimes within the same country? Why is branding important? Let's take the old example, the ageless example of Coke. You go anywhere in the world, you talk about Coke, people are going to know what you're talking about. They may not know the name, you show them the logo, it's very likely they're going to know. Come to Benin, where I am, go to the most remote village, show them a bottle of Coke, they'll probably know what it is. Question is, how do we become the Coke of the medical sector? Do you want to be the Coke of the medical sector? I know I want to be. But how exactly do we get to that point? Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was thinking, I took medical laboratory scientist, clinical laboratory scientist, and I was wondering, how could we shorten that? And I was like, well, maybe we could remove the eco laboratory science and then get like medists, clinists. Those sounded weird. And I didn't have any good ideas. So I asked people on Reddit and Facebook. And you on the internet gave some pretty good ideas. We had what? Um, biomedic analysts, labomedic, labists, laboratorian, bioanalysts, 
lab scientists. Those were some of the options that were given. I think some of them are really nice. I liked biomedic. I really liked biomedic. Now, the only issue with biomedic that I can see is people might still think you're a medical doctor if you say you're a biomedic. Or what do you think? At least that's what I think. Now, analysts, labists, laboratorian, those sound very vague or general, mostly because there are lots of scientists around the world. People who work in the lab usually are going to be analyzing things. They could arguably be referred to as analysts, labists, laboratorians. But lots of people did like the term laboratorian. Now, one that I really liked is bioanalyst. But I think bioanalyst, when you say that, someone who hears it has a general idea that you're in the lab, you're doing some analysis, and you're analyzing biological materials. They may not know that you work in a biomedical lab, but still, it's an interesting name according to me. Now, lab scientist is also really nice, except lab scientist is also general. And at the same time, you don't really know exactly where the person works. But tell me, do you have any other ideas? What do you think? Are those good terms? Tell us that we know what you think about all these terms and if you have better ideas. Now, someone also proposed the term scientician. The person said it was a reference to a Simpsons episode. I wanted to look at that and this is what I found. Says it's wrong to eat meat. Is he crazy? No, just ignorant. You see, your crazy friend never heard of the food chain. Just ask this scientician. Uh... And like that scientician, I am lost for words. So help me out in the comment section. Tell us what you think about all this. And also, you can watch another video in which we explain what medical laboratory scientists are. If that's something you'd be interested in. Or you can also watch our video in which we talk about salaries in medical laboratory science and what they are around the world. See you either here or here. Click. You know you want to.